Hey pilots, it's Wolf of Valhalla Gaming, and we're back with Ace Combat 7 Skies Unknown, so we're just going to hit continue. And I do apologize, I know it's been like two weeks, we um, got to the mainland, first I got really sick, base, and then last week, I guess Saturday, the Sunday, I got a brand new tattoo, the the elevator and uh, I just, I've been trying to recover from the tattoo and the cold all at the same time, and the there's just a lot going on with work and school, and so I apologize, um... I'm going to try and get back to my regularly down. scheduled shenanigans. So let's, uh, yep. Oh, God, that was a gunshot. I, I'm sorry, I was not paying she attention and distracting everybody. took her hand and led her into the factory. One thing's for sure, they knew each other. The oh, you don't say. Converted to a production line for Erujian drones. It was fully automated and chugging along, making drone after drone after drone. I right, apologize without that. Oh God! What kind of gun is that? Is that Sig? Inside, the princess stopped and just stood there. Oh God! I apologize for that noise. My desk is very squeaky. Another girl was there with a man in a lab coat. He was trying. Oh, you dirty, control. dirty Belkin, you! She took a data chip and threw it on the ground. Then she walked over to us. And took the gun from the prison guard's holster. You dirty Belkin. She pulled the trigger and destroyed the chip. What kind of prison guard just let somebody walk up and take his gun, though? Also, what kind of gun only has one round in the chamber? Later, I found she shot once and it locked to the rear. The stuffed animal were sisters. Oh, their they were identical also the clothing didn't give it away. Shilaji, the legendary pilot. I shot down Shilaji. Gramps used to talk about him. He said Mihai was the top ace from two wars ago. No, no he's Belkins? not an ace anymore. Because this guy was a Belkin, and they love to stir shit up. Pitting nations against other nations is a particular favorite of theirs, along with developing hyper-advanced technology. That's right. I'm Belkin, born and raised. I love the storyline. I just wish that uh, surrender to its enemy. <clears throat> it was more in the game, like soil. instead of having 30 minutes of cutscenes. My people scattered around the globe, There was just in the this explained itself countries. throughout the game. We had a new purpose to breathe. Though these cutscenes are gorgeous, like this is the beautiful. The theory was that through war we could achieve our destiny. I'm actually pretty sure this is a video of just an actual production line and not animated. I had just finished inputting Mihai's data when his granddaughter came in. She and destroyed ruined your the plans. only copy I had of the information I squeezed out of him. The girl loved me high. No one knew more than her just how hard I pushed her grandfather for that data. How much I made him sacrifice in the process. And it is kind of a dick move. I promised his granddaughters that his efforts were not in vain. That it could end this terrible war. But in the end, it only caused more chaos and despair. Yeah, I mean, that's we what wars do. Like, this damage, all this as much as I am an advocate now, for peace we through violence, for that's all wars bring is the despair. Once our allies would see to that, I had lost the drive to continue my work. Even before I noticed Mihai's granddaughters eyeing me with suspicion that one day, I should have Sorry, I'm cracking my fingers. For all our Gotta get ready for this all out war that we're going into. Mihai's granddaughter tossed the gun aside. She said if she resorted to killing, she'd just end up like the rest Looks of like us. Looks like a SIG. Some type of... I'm and so confused, us, too. Like She met everyone, including the princess. <laughs> the technology is so advanced like me, in this game, yet some of the stuff isn't advanced. Like, they have rail guns, but they're still using, like, Tomcats. Like, that, by that doesn't make sense. She kept the war going. It's typically how wars go. Is if nobody wants to now, fight the war, even if your government declares it, then the war is not going to get fought. Is this for Belka? Or for Arugia? My grandfather had only one wish to continue soaring through the endless skies. Oh, that's that not happening ever again. He felt alive. <clears throat> and felt dead now. Home, let alone the sky. The black mm. forest, the lake. They are no longer mine. Even though those lands were once cherished by my late mother. We have to learn to put that sense of nostalgia behind us and behave like mature adults. 
It's pretty sad when a fucking teenage Girl girl led. is more. She's right. Like. It feels so more ethically firm. mature than a freaking scientist, but. The woman with the rifle approached me. She was focused on more pressing issues. Oh boy, here we go. How long is this cutscene gonna take? I checked the computer. All of the data on the legendary ace had already been installed. No, I pulled it before it was completed. However, there are two aircraft that are already scheduled to be manufactured based on that data. We Tester must destroy the factory. 13. So there was 12 this other variants of that one. data? There are more <coughs> facilities oh, sorry. Like it. Drink some and water. The planes containing the data will be manufactured at one of those facilities. Oh, we know what those planes are. This place runs on solar power that the space elevator generates, right? How about the others? So I'm still waiting on that vote, but I'm really tempted to do that uh first things first. Let's take this one Ace difficulty S rank playthrough just to kind of play around and put that in a different playlist. So this will probably be the campaign playlist with my commentary and then I'll do the S rank playlist with Ace or the S Ace ranked Ace difficulty S rank. Okay, that's English. I realized that in the background, <laughs> behind the dancing figures, the artist had painted several space elevators. Hmm. I understand now. The space elevator wasn't designed to exploit Erugia after all. It's designed to link the worlds. That's what space elevators do. Good. And afterwards, we'll bring down the space elevator itself. No matter what See, that's... Built, right now, it's the root of this chaos. See, my question is, if you snap the tether, what happens I to the very top of the elevator? Because it's technically in a low geosynchronous orbit, right? Which path you would choose? So if you snap the tether, does the entire thing come down? Or does the top half just kind of drift back into space? Does the bottom half collapse? Like, very confusing about space elevators and how gravity works. I am not a uh, physicist. Let's get the is that physics? Started. Yeah, physicist. We've done enough air operations. Just let us go home. There's no path. Yes, let us go home. Whatever direction you fly, it'll be right into a hail of enemy fire. Earlier, we received a communication via the partially restored general network. Here is what it contains. Doesn't look like whatever direction we fly, we're going to fly into enemy fire. Looks like there's only one direction the enemy can fire in. As it's a source of energy. Give the war mongers a powerful energy source, and you give them the luxury to keep on fighting. In response to this, people from both Osia and Arusia have joined forces and will take down the final arsenal bird in a saturation attack from the air. The sea. Once that's achieved, they'll take the space elevator from the aggressors. Has the source been verified? It could be fake. I hear you. Take a look at what's We already know about fake sources thanks to uh what happened with Captain Torres. Can see the future. Certainly If you want to bring the world back from the brink, go to the lighthouse. It's a message for all those looking to end the war. But I also think it's a message for trick. God, I always turn forget to turn off the background music. I did like half the game without it, and now I've just left it on, so I apologize for that failure of continuity. I don't realize it until halfway through the game. Time to fly, guys. Let's go get that arsenal bird. Let's go. That's the mission. So we have 44 air targets. Operation objective is to take down the arsenal bird. It is the 31st of October 2019 We're gonna start our mission. We're not too worried about aircraft. We're gonna be using our f-22a and our beautiful Tempest skin um, Emblem Yeah, we're gonna go with trigger We're still gonna do the special skin Yep, all right Let's go Strider Squadron, sortie ASAP. That's so pretty. I love the blue camouflage so much. And it's not even really camouflage. If you've ever looked at the F-22, it has different colored grays, and that's because the uh, radar absorbent paint is different colors over the different materials. So I assume this is just the blue version of that radar absor 
absorbent paint. Mission 19, Lighthouse. Alright pilots, let's get this. We're gonna try and survive, essentially, because I have not played in forever. Oh, that was really pretty. I love the way this game looks. Oh, look. Erosion and Ocean birds working together. Oh, jeez. So pretty. Yeah, I haven't played in forever, so this is gonna be heinous. I'm sorry. I apologize in advance. I'm just gonna do my best. Alright. Oh, we haven't been here in a while. This is where Trigger was, uh... Accused of assassinating President Harling, President Harling. We all know that is a lie now, and it was actually a Russian drones. F-18s. Oh, I got an F-22. There can only be one, you bastard. Oh, and you're turning away from me. That's a bad idea, because now I'm just gonna have your heat signature all up in my radar. Destroyed. Started out with a thousand points. Let's do that. Yeah. SU-35, F-14, 35, 57. Yeah, there we go. Let's take out some of these high-hitting targets. Got something destroyed. I'm gonna try and save the majority of my specials because, uh, really want to use them for frickin' the arsenal bird. Whenever that may be. Oh, I'm right behind a squadron of them. That was bad positioning on me. Let's see if I can get on their ass now. Where are they? Oh, there they are. Oh, there's an F-22 right there. He just flew right in front of me, didn't he? Come on. Ugh. Try not to get hit by that. There's so many missiles. Stop it. Alright. Uh, I got a 35 right here. Oh, this game is so pretty. I love it. I love it. Oh, I hope y'all love this game as much as I do, because I absolutely adore this game. I wish I knew more of the actual history for this game. Like, the, the strange real history. But it's just such a fun game, and such a fun storyline, and I can't wait for the next one. Let's go, you. Sorry if I get quiet, I'm trying to concentrate. Yeah, so I'm still thinking I'm gonna do that, uh... The Ace series. There's a 33. There's a 57, yeah. Five minutes left and we only gotta get 10,000 points, pretty much. Let's see if I can get on this entire squadron's tail, or this entire flight's tail. Destroyed, destroyed, destroyed. Beautiful. Could not have asked for a better shot than that. Oh, come on, come on. Ugh. I'm gonna have to do this. Alright, we took out those three. Hey, Scald! We took out those three. Come here, 57. Come here, you're not escaping. Took out your entire flight of drones, so you should be able to concentrate. So apparently when they're flying the drones, they're actually controlling them from these aircraft. But, uh, oh jeez. Freaking doing the dance with this guy. Uh, but they're not the smart drones. They're not like the other ones that, uh, like, they get sluggish without their human handler, which is a really weird concept, because I thought they were all smart drones originally. But apparently those are only the ones, like, that, uh, come from the Arsenal Bird or have the AI installed. And I'm not sure if these have AI installed or if they're just, like, I know they're in slave mode, but... Ugh. 
I never understand the locking system either. Like, let me lock onto the guy directly in front of me. All right, 16,000 points, four minutes left. We've only taken 4% damage. Not bad, not bad. We're actually doing much better than I thought we would for not having played in so long. Um, I don't know what you call patriotism, but it's not what I call patriotism. Get on their six. Why are you not shooting me down? All right, so we're just gonna shoot all of these guys down then. Nope, we're gonna use one set of flares right there then. Ah, uh, dang it. Ah. Uh, okay. Let's get that guy. That'll put us at 19,900. So we only need one more. This F-18 should put us in... Yep, okay. So we should see an F-18 named Tempest. And I think one other ace spawn in now. I'm not sure if the other ace will spawn in. Uh, see an F-U-47, F-22. F-18s. F-18s. I mean, we have two minutes left, so... Oh, there's Tempest. I told you he'd spawn in. Does that mean the other one spawned in? I'm not sure. I want to shoot down Tempest, though. Tempest, you're mine. Oop. Oh, he hit me. Uh, we'll see who the better ace is here, Tempest. You're fighting yourself. This is literally that meme of the three Spider-Mans pointing at each other. <laughs> it's you, but it's you, but it's you. And you're shot down. Congratulations. So I'm really curious, are these Helios missiles um, improved versions of the... I forget what they were, I think it was Ace Combat 6. Was Ace Combat 6 Fires of Liberation? Um, the flying aircraft carrier that shot giant airburst missiles had a super similar weapon system, and is the Helios just an upgraded version of that? Anybody who knows more history about Strange Reel, please let me know, because I would love to know. I absolutely suck with my machine gun. Alright. Oh god, that missile. Not bad, not bad. Uh, we've gotten 25,000 points. Another squadron just spawned in over here. We're going to try and pop them real quick. Doing pretty good, doing pretty good. I like it. I think we have a good good chance this game. Ah, Helios, stop it. Get away. Stop it. All right, we're getting a little closer to the squadron over here. We'll be able to lock on soon. Yep, there they are. Got a YF-23 and a Typhoon just out of the blue. The odd flight pair, but okay. I guess when you're throwing together mixed matched squadrons, it really doesn't matter what aircraft they are, does it? Come here, Mr. YF-23. So, I'm also not sure why the YF-23 doesn't count for more points. Same with the SU-47. So, they're technically more rare than the F-22 and the SU-57? Uh, yeah, the 57. So, they're more rare than any other aircraft essentially because they were generation fighters that never made it past prototype phase so why do they cost less points is it because just the health bars like i'm, I'm so confused on that portion Ooh, saturation let's go didn't do too bad for my first time playing in freaking forever look at that that's just so pretty I also like how your speed just maintains if you don't, like, your speed just maintains. So I'm not sure how the that thing actually flies. Like, how does the bird actually fly? Like, I get it's got giant props on it, but it's so slow, like, 
How does it generate oh, enough lift? Attack failed. Cruise missiles did not reach their target. I'm just so curious. How does it generate enough lift? Other than being a giant wing, I suppose, but... I have multiple blips on my scope. Here they come. That's something. Alright, well, we're just gonna try and hit the arsenal bird as fast as possible, I suppose. Oh, jeez. That was a laser, wasn't it? Ugh. Get away. Ew. Okay. So we're just going to try and disarm this arsenal bird as fast as possible because this shit is not it. I hate dealing with these freaking AAMs. Ooh. How about we just go to hell, y'all? Damn it, missed. Okay, so we're gonna try and concentrate on its arsenal. Get it? Arsenal bird. Concentrate. Oh, APS is coming online. So, let's concentrate on these guys, I guess. Why are there bombers flying in the middle of this? Like, what are you gonna do, like, realistically? Uh, I forget the drones actually will pop flares because they're smart. Alright, firing. Destroyed something. I'll take that. APS is coming back online. We're just gonna keep hitting these guys. Oh my, there's so many of them! Just let me shoot all of them down, please. Shoot all of them down. I mean, that was, that was a good chunk of them. I'll take that. All right, let's go. Hit it. Hitting it. Let's hit this AAM on the left side. Oof. APS is coming back online. There's just so many of these freaking drones. Like, can you even shoot down all the drones? Is that physically possible? If this is all I did, could I? Okay, let's. I don't know. I'm curious if this thing would just keep spawning drones indefinitely if you let it go for the rest of eternity. But I, uh, I don't know. All right, we did a lot of damage. It's only got a few weapon systems left, so I can take that. I'm gonna try and circle back and. Do another saturation launch. Calm down. I'll do something. What are you gonna do? Prevent smash it. Smash all six of the bastards. It'll lose power. See how many of these we shoot down. Oop. Destroyed one, two. Oh, we're getting shot in the back. That's not. Alright, so we're out of specials, unfortunately, so. Looks like it's back to using the score. I know I've said it before, but the score is just so beautiful. I love it. Yes. Alright, now we do some real damage to this thing. Just sit right here and just camp that. Yeah, there we go. Just take off and come back again. Good. Once this thing is un 
not a danger, essentially. We can just concentrate on the targets, but there's definitely a drone, like, right on my ass. <laughs> He's missing every shot, but... Come on. Destroyed. There's still these pulse lasers, but I'm not as worried about those. Oh god, that's something I worry about. Just having a drone right on my ass lighting me up with a machine gun. Here we go, last sub propeller. Let's hit it. All that's left are the pulse lasers under it. See, these drones are, like, super annoying, but they're actually not that hard to shoot down. It's one missile apiece. They're just super hard to get that one missile on sometimes. There we go. Alright, where's our arsenal bird? There she is. Gotta take out the main propellers again. We just stay in a constant state of being locked onto, and it's so annoying. Come on. Beautiful. Ooh. Oh, that laser. He's not happy. He's not happy. We poked it with a stick. Oh god, that laser, no, 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 no. That laser got much, I didn't know it would actually engage me like that. Oh god. Okay, um, note to self, that's a thing. <laughs> Destroyed both the hooks. Okay, there's one more thing left, I think, and we're at 95 health, so let's try and get this right the first time. We got one shot at this. Goodbye, Arsenal Bird. She is down. That is exhilarating. Even in death. You know, I was about to say the exact same thing. That is a big plane. My gods. She's gone, and with that, the war is done. Oh, that score, that music is just beautiful. Just use an elevator. You're on a space elevator. Jeez. 
Avril, they're headed this way. Get the refugees to safety now. So what happened to Cassette? Still breathing. I won't be flying much longer. Man, looks like she died. A few kilometers to the west. It ran aground and was abandoned. It won't be easy, but it's the only place you got. Trigger, escort your wingman. Let's get to that carrier. That's all we can do. Damn. Those drones are bad news, like, I know, I've flown them. Trigger, can you hear me? I somehow managed to land. It's your turn now. Oh, great. I'm gonna be landing on an aircraft carrier. Okay. Let me just try and line up with the frickin'... We're just gonna try and do this. Yeah, I'm trying, I'm trying. One second. I gotta go way over here and then bank left. There we go. We're essentially online now. Yep, alright. Let's pull up right here. We don't have a whole lot of room for this, so... Ideally, just touch down right there. Beautiful. A little off the line. F-22s were not designed to land on carriers. I don't have a tail hook. So that is definitely not it. All right, go ahead and skip this. Thank y'all for joining me. Again, I apologize for the long, long hiatus I took between my cold, the tattoo, and just dealing with work. Um, I'm gonna try and get back to a regular recording schedule. So let's see what they have to say. Anything? No, maybe? Okay, I guess they're not gonna say anything. Thank y'all for joining me, and as always, we'll see you next time. Bye, guys. Ah, damn it, an A rank.